Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressor feta pule kapas. From that day, the creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. This. Imagine Jesus going around and saying, People, come and listen to me. For 30 years, no one was interested in listening to him. But when he engaged the mystery of the priesthood, he came out of the waters. A voice spoke, Hear ye him. Publicity or no publicity, everywhere Jesus went, men followed him. Are we, are we together? The Bible says they know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. Let me tell you, many of you, your victory is already established in the realm of the spirit. But the system for translating it, we are there wasting time doing a lot of things. Many of our loved ones, some of you are here. You thought that, okay, by the time you get a job, it will be all right you got a job you found out that the salary was not enough you prayed for promotion as promotion came to you all of a sudden jericho says that's not how we win i'm still here standing but tonight in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ let me tell you you will watch jericho just like babylon fall before you so, Listen, when you hear people testifying, huh, try to understand what made the miracle work. Because most of what they were doing, they had done it before. Master, we have toiled all night. Jesus said, no, it's not nets that catches fish. Abba, you've been with me. You don't understand how this thing works. Master, we have toiled all night. He said, but I know there is a relationship between you and that fish. And Jesus said, cast your net. The net will be casted, but not before he speaks. It is after he speaks. The CV will be submitted, but not before the priesthood. It is after. Are we together? You will try to have the child, but when you continue the way you are doing, you will keep miscarrying forever. It's not an insult. Let me tell you this. Without the presence of God, there is no human intelligence that has the fortification to destroy an altar whose foundation is spiritual let me repeat myself without the presence of god spiritual intelligence there is no human manipulation that sustains enough power to crumble an altar whose origin is from the realm of the spirit what is fighting many of us it's not physical brothers and sisters i know you are born again i know you love jesus christ but the mystery of covenants are territorial jesus has come to your heart but he must come to your life just because you received him into your heart doesn't automatically mean you are free potentially you have come into a kingdom with infinite possibilities but Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says, having their understanding darkened. This is Paul teaching the church in Ephesus. He says, alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. Having the, the tragedy is not that God lied, but that their understanding is darkened. And so by reason of the darkened understanding, they have been alienated from the experience of that life. It's not enough to say Jesus died. It's not enough to say I'm born again. If that were it, brothers and sisters, many of our loved ones who have been born again for decades should not be where they were. I watch people under the influence of manipulations that are not of an earthly, an earthly origin. And I watch the folly of men, how we do our best. I was once like that, but no more. I'm born again. I've repented. I've seen the foolishness of fighting things physically. It has to be from the realm of the spirit first. Not from the realm of the spirit, whether first or not. The order is first from the realm of the spirit. 
when you plant a seed it doesn't start growing outside until the growth happens there that is the part you cannot explain when it starts coming out you can now water it but the growth there doesn't need your watering listen there are powers that until the mystery of the priesthood and the ark fights some of us will never experience progress in our lives we wake up in the morning we sleep late in the night we are sincere but nothing is working are we together yes every time a blessing comes trouble must ferment itself around a family and drain everything the moment you are rising spiritually how many pastors and churches and wonderful people are like that when you are rising satan doesn't fight you you will think you are victorious the programming he knows how cheap the programming will bring you down so he can as well allow you to rise and you find out for a season everything is working well because it's like a string you will reach a limit it pulls you back are we together oh i want to marry you no problem you will even be happy three days later everything scatters i'm going to give you a job and you find out that satan does not need to fight you he already fought you with the presence of jericho and god said guys the goal is not to stay in jericho but you can't let jericho stand and reach where you are going don't pity it bring it down there is a don't just look at the fence there are captives in that place there are treasures in that place and he said let me show you it is not by physical fighting you don't have any physical weapon that can bring down that fence brothers and sisters jericho sank flat the bible records it flat this is what is going to happen to many of us tonight that's why that's why i i told you tonight's miracle service is not just for individuals it's for families enough of this fruitless trying doing everything by strength there is a system in the kingdom are we together the priesthood there are some of us here we're ministry some of us probably travel for a long time we're men of god we love god but it looks like there is a peg brothers and sisters let jericho crumble and you will see how cheap life can be there are people who have experienced the defeat of Jericho, but they cannot articulate the system that brought the defeat. Someone stood on their behalf through the ministry of intercession and caused Jericho to fall for them. They just found out that they entered cheaply and even a dagger brought victory. So they can trivialize the existence of Jericho. Jericho is real. If you don't see it in your life, a priesthood already brought it down for you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But everyone who must pass remember israel is god's own people what is the business between israel and Je they had conquered other nations what do they need the treasures of jericho when you read your bible with an open heart you will see that there are gaps you have to be spiritual to get an explanation
I fight, I defeat Jericho, and I continue my journey. But I carry Rahab. I carry treasures. There is Rahab there. Without Rahab, there is no Jesus. Without Rahab, the whole fight was to carry treasures and to carry Rahab. Mm. We look to Yahweh. Yahweh. I hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever, Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh. We look to Yahweh. soon going to pray the Lord rejects Saul as a king and now looks at David but there was no priest to confirm what God wanted the priest that was available still wanted Saul and David could not be king God Almighty had left Saul and wanted David Samuel said no I still want Saul and God remained helpless. Think about it. God kept begging Samuel, cooperate with me because David will never be king. That God intended it does not guarantee his manifestation. Between God's heart and your result is a priest carrying the ark. That's why you can have a dream. You see yourself collecting a, a job letter. You saw it in 2014, no priest. 2015, no priest. That your dreams show you Eden. Your life shows you Adulam. There's a system of translation. Are we together? Now all of a sudden, the Lord now spoke to Samuel. He didn't quarrel Samuel. He said, Samuel, how long will you keep weeping seeing that i have rejected saul as king rise up carry your horn go to the house of jesse go and anoint the next king of israel paraphrasing and david remained here i'm sure david will be in the wilderness and say when will my change come the change was in a negotiation between god god already intended in god's mind this is the And the king will sit with sheep and say oh lord when will my breakthrough come and god will say the day a priest comes all of a sudden the priest agrees and god's will continues moving a priest refuses and god remains moses was wise he said lord i already know you too well don't ever let us go here if your presence if that I could not go before us, I'm not going. No, Moses said, because my going is as good as wasting my time. I, I, I know what is before us. 
and he said my presence will go with you and i will give you rest rest is a gift are you hearing what i'm saying rest is a gift my presence will go with you and i through my presence will give you rest my presence will clear up the spirits and whatever you do when you read second chronicles 20 the same thing happened three kings came together to defeat the people of god and all of a sudden the bible says the priests and the musicians were now in front and they began to sing you are good and your mercies endure forever the ark started fighting them who is the fool that goes for war with gold in his pocket and silver and the bible says all of a sudden they turn can you imagine allies together when the ark starts fighting for you is fearful are we together fearful you are standing close to danger it never touches you before it touches you something touches it the priesthood the people started killing themselves and the bible says everyone helped to kill another that's not a man fighting that's the ark fighting and all of a sudden when the last two were left he killed one and the ark said what are you waiting for and he carried the knife killed himself and when the people came they found gold they found treasures when the ark fights it fights thoroughly when you fight if your hand paints you like moses and start going down you see that they can defeat you but you carry the ark and let it begin to fight they kept the ark and they kept dagon these people brought an entity a god enshrined with spirits called dagon the bible did not show us there were any physical contact by morning dagon fell face forward on the ground the superiority of the presence of god above any enchantment and any ordinance when you see the ordinances that have been enshrined by your cultism and all of these things prevail is because the ark has not been lifted tonight we have come in this place to initiate a system of priesthood over the difficult situations of people to say lord if i want you for a few minutes just suspend the issue of job or whatever whether it is job or the issue of delay it is still the same jericho causing it any part of jericho is still jericho are you hearing what i'm saying the jericho that causes failure is the same jericho that causes barrenness it is still jericho the bible didn't say jericho do you know look at the interesting thing jericho fell flat but the woman who stayed in the fence how god delivered her that she didn't fall flat with it is a mystery we don't understand but the bible tells us everything fell down flat to break every chain 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 is to break every chain Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. From that day, the creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.